Hello. More ankle fun coming our way. Um, today we need a ball and a weight and a floor. That's pretty much it. That's what we got. Um, so we're going to do sitting, standing, and then sort of a happening stretch. A chair. We probably need a chair too. Um, okay, so tibialis anterior, the muscle that brings your toes towards your nose. All right. Um, when runners talk about shin splints, that's what they talk about. Um, all right, so we are going to work it. We're going to start with our weight, and we're going to do this in sitting and standing. So you're just going to plop your weight on your toes. Um, I have the benefit of having this nice, like, Velcro weight, so I'm going to Velcro it on my foot. Um, if you don't, just stick it in a bag, wrap it around your ankle. Um, don't do it in a time where you have to run somewhere because don't trip. Um, and then you're just going to lift and lower. Kind of like tapping your foot. Slow and controlled. Um, as always, if it hurts, don't do it. If you need it checked out by a doctor, get it checked out by a doctor, physical therapist. Um, if you feel like you're just doing it wrong and you want modifications, throw me a message. We will see if we can't fix it up for you so that it does its intended purpose and you feel great doing it. All right, so this one we're going to do seated, but also standing. Changes the dynamics of what's happening in the knee, where gravity is hitting you through the spine and the hip. All different things that work together the way that our bodies work when it's sitting versus standing. All right, you'll find that your quads are contracting a little bit more as you lift that up. And that is A-OK -okay by me. All right, slip that onto our other foot. Ah, coordination at its finest. And away we go. Just like the world's slowest toe tapping. All right, three times to fatigue, whether that's five, seven, 10, 15. Um, if you can do three times 15 with the weight that you have on, try upping the weight. All right. There we go. Um, you can also do this with a band. Um, you just have to find a way to anchor the band away from your foot. All right. But you can do that with a band. That's a decent way to make it a weighted exercise. All right. So like tie it under the table leg, pull your chair back, sit away and toe tap to your heart's content. All right. And again, you can do that seated and standing. All right. This is like a little bit of last time and a little bit of this time in here. We're going to put our knee directly over the ball and our ankle. And we're going to point down and point up, point down and point up. All right. So my knee's not moving. She is, she's staying in place. All right. Um, so this is very similar to the one that we did the first week when we did side to side. Speaking of, I'm going to show you what it looks like from the side because I'm nice like that. You know, what can I say? All right. So we have our knee. Over our ankle, we have a straight line. We are pushing down, we are pulling up. Pushing down, pulling up. Um, you're gonna wanna think about dropping your heel is a different way to get that muscle firing because we don't usually think about pulling our toes up, but we do think about dropping our heel. And so that's a different way to get that interior tibialis firing. All right, so toes up, toes down. Again, my knee is not doing anything. My hip is not doing anything. So if I was cheating, what would this look like? A lot of this. All right. My foot would be everywhere. My knee would be moving. My hand would be moving up and down. But it's not because this is just that ankle below the knee exercise. All right. And this is a super quick one today. So how do we stretch this? There you go. Kapow. All right. You might need to open your hip a little bit to get a little bit more pressure on the front. We're stretching muscle. 
We are not stretching joint spaces. No pain in the ankle. You might need to sit down on a bent knee. I'm going to move the camera so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Sit down. All right. So my knee is bent over my foot. Now, I don't recommend doing it in these shoes because, man, that little buckle is pushing into me. Um, <laughs> don't do that. Okay, but you get the idea, all right? Can you duck around? There we go. Stretch it out. All right. Hold that 30 seconds, three times. Doop. All right, I wonder if I can do it on the floor without it being so painful. Um, let's hope so. So, let's see that little bell. All right, there we go. Oh no, that, feels, that still feels like junk. The uh, shoelace is just pushing into the tops of my feet. Don't do it with shoes on. But this is a position, so sort of a prayer position with your hips um, so that you're forcing the, the top part, this part of your um, your ankle to open up. Yeah, don't do it with shoelaces on. It doesn't feel good. I don't recommend it. Um, comments, questions, concerns, as always, throw them at me. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions you have. We need to make modifications. Let's make them. Let's do it. Have a great weekend. Um, that's all I got. All right. Bye.